Hello and welcome back to Hanging with Hodge. I'm your host, Dave Hodgkins. Uh, all my friends call me Hodge, and this is Mead and the Movies. That's right, come for the mead, stay for the movies. <laughs> so in this series, we drink mead that we've made in previous episodes, and we sit down and enjoy a classic movie together. At the end of our opening video here, there'll be links to our featured movie, as well as a link to the featured mead that we're drinking as well. But before we get started, let me invite you to take a minute to click that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you feel like it, leave some comments below. 37 and a half points for anybody that does. And we'll get started right after this. All right, so now before we get to the movie, Let's talk about our mead for the day. Uh, I'll be drinking our Dango Mango Mead recipe, which you can find a link to in the description below and at the end of this video. And it is a delicious blend of honey, mango nectar, coconut, and yeast. And it's perfect to pair with this movie that we're going to be watching. So we came up with this recipe when we were back in Hocking Hill State Park in Ohio. It was a while back we were with some friends where we rented an Airbnb. Well, I brought some of my mango nectar and they brought some coconut rum and we mixed the two together. Uh, after we mixed them, we all went, dang, oh man, go mead. <laughs> and thus was born the dango mango mead. <laughs> now, about the movie. The last time we had a great time watching the student prince and tasting our traditional mead. But now it's time for a golden comedy classic adventure that's sure to make us laugh. Abbott and Costello in Africa Screams. This 1949 movie stars the legendary comedy duo Bud Abbott and Lou Costello as they set out on a wild treasure hunt in the heart of Africa. The movie was directed by Charles Barton and features some notable co-stars including Clyde Beatty and Frank Butt, Buck, who plays themselves, and Max and Buddy Bear. It's a great example of Abbott and Costello's classic comedy style mixing slapstick, one-liners, and fast-paced action that's sure to have you laughing out loud. The film, originally titled Abbott and Costello in Africa, had a budget of $500,000, which was much less than their usual budget for an Abbott and Costello film at that time. But despite the low budget, the film was a commercial success, bringing in over $1.5 million. Not a bad payday, especially in that time. Interesting fact was Clyde Beatty was one of the most famous circus performers and animal trainers in the world at that time. He also provided his own animals for the film. You may recognize his name from the legendary Clyde Beatty Circus. Well, this movie was also the last film that Lou Costello made for Warner Brothers and the last movie that Abbott and Costello made for United Artists. Some additional fun trivia. Uh, there's a scene where Joe Besser dashes into Abbott and Costello's tent grabs a glass of water and runs out. He does this several times until Abbott stops him and asks him why he's so thirsty. Well, he replies that he's not thirsty, but his tent is on fire. This gag comes from Costello's real life adventure as a child when he accidentally set some clothes on fire in his bedroom. His father was in the living room, which was between the kitchen and the bedroom. And he was running back and forth getting glasses of water until his father stopped him and asked him what was going on. At which point, Costello finally fessed up and told his father what was going on. So, get ready to laugh, get ready to drink, and get ready to have a great time with Abbott and Costello and Africa Screams. Let's get started. 